One of my favorite things as a streamer is unique, interactive, and fun elements that streamers come up with to make their streams more engaging and fun for their communities. Things Nutty, Andy Lippy, Lifesaver, Silverlink, Gale Level, myself, <laughs> and so many more have created, have always been what excites and drives me most in the streaming space. Creating things for my stream is something I enjoy more than actually streaming. And that says a lot because I love hanging out with y'all. Helping people, gaming, and chatting about stupid things like how bad I am at games. Well, it's been a long time since I created a stupid and unique asset that might be only fun for myself, but I did that recently and I thought maybe other people would like to know how to set it up because it might spark some creativity or maybe they just want to use this exact asset for themselves, especially if they run family-friendly streams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, the effect we will be creating today is what I like to call bad words. What it does is trigger a blur that tracks to your mouth, mutes your mic, and plays a censorship beep all at the same time in random intervals, making it look like you are cursing way more than you probably ever do, or would, unless you're me. Dag nabbit. Oops. There I go again. To set this up, we need a few things installed to our PC a few plugins installed to OBS, and most importantly, this does require certain hardware. So I am sorry, but if you aren't running a 20 series NVIDIA card or higher, preferably higher, this will not work for you. I know, I know, I apologize. I try my best to make things that all streamers can use, unless they're using Streamlabs, F Streamlabs. So if you don't have the required hardware, I'm sorry, and you can watch another one of my videos. Cheers. If you use Streamlabs, please stop. You're better than that. All right, for those of you still here, let's start this out by grabbing all of the things we need installed before we get into setting it up inside of OBS and StreamerBot. The first of these will be the NVIDIA SDK to run AR, which is needed for the tracking things to our face. You can find that at the link in the description below. And if you want to, you can grab the SDKs for audio effects and video effects. Just be sure to download the one for the GPU you have. They are labeled accordingly in the columns and rows from 40 series down to 20 series. Once you have it or them downloaded, install them to your PC. Next, we are going to download our plugins for OBS that we are going to use to create the entire effect inside of OBS. All three of these effects are the brainchildren of the superhero that is Exceldro. Be sure to follow him on all socials because he is the GOAT. Anything badass that you see in a stream anywhere is probably thanks to him. 90% of what you see in my streams wouldn't be possible if it weren't for the things he creates for all of us in the streaming space. From all of us out here to you, thank you for everything. Where was I? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> plugins. In the description below, you will find links for Source Clone, which allows you to make a copy of a source and add filters or adjustments to it without affecting the original source. Move, which allows you to take your stream to the edge of the galaxy and blows minds. Seriously, this plugin does so many things I couldn't list them right now. It needs its own video. It needs its own video series. That is how powerful it is. Maybe that series will come next, maybe. Lastly, the link for OBS shader filter, which is what we are going to use to put the censored mouth effect in, is also down there. You can also use this to create some pretty sweet effects on your camera if you wish to. Once you get through the tutorial, you'll have all of the necessary knowledge to do so if you don't already. For each of these plugins, follow the links, go to the right side of the screen and click Download. Choose the installer.exe to install them to the appropriate directory automatically, or if you know what you're doing and want to take the long road, just download the windows.zip and do your thing dragging and dropping for the next 10 minutes. The rest of us will just sit here and wait. Okay, Steven, are you ready now? Good stuff. Once you have all of that stuff downloaded and installed, you can open up OBS, and if you don't have your mic in its own scene, we need to do that so StreamerBot can control it. So create a scene named Audio Sources, add an audio input capture, and name it 
mic slash aux. Find your microphone in the device list, select it, and click OK. Then disable the one inside of the settings menu if you are using it, or remove your mic from any scenes you manually added it to, and nest this audio sources scene into all of your scenes instead. Trust me, bro, I've made bongs with less. Next, we need your camera nested into its own scene. So that is the second thing we are going to do. So instead of just having your camera added as a source directly into your chatting or gaming scenes, we need to set it up in its own so that this works no matter what scene you are in. Don't delete your camera source just yet. Don't. Create a new scene and name it nested face cam. Or if you have multiple cameras, name it nested camera name. Add a video capture source and select the source you already have set up for your camera. This way you don't have to reset up any adjustments or filters you've already made to it. Smart. Now you can delete the other one whenever you want or just keep it hidden. Forever. Once you have your camera added, click the plus icon to add another source and this time find source clone in the list. Name the clone blurred mouth, set the clone type to source and open the drop down to find your camera source. Select that. Now you have two of the same source, which seems super crazy right now and doesn't make any sense. And that's fine because it never will and you just need to let it go or accept it right now or we're done. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. I'm kidding. The clone is for the pixelated sensor effect and the tracking of it. Duh. Now resize the clone by holding Alt and dragging the corners of the box in until it's just your mouth. Open the Source Clones Filters menu, then drag it away from your preview so you can see the changes being made in real time. And click the plus icon in the Effect Filters box to add a new filter and find the NVIDIA AR Move and select it. In the Action box, select Move Source, set the Scene box to whatever you named the scene with your camera in it, and set the source to blurred mouth. In the property box, select position, set the feature to landmark, and change the landmark property to position. The landmark slider is where you will choose what point on your face you want it to track according to NVIDIA's tracking point map. The one we want to use is 49. So just drag the slider over until it says 49. And if the box is a little off where your mouth is, don't worry about that just yet. Set the confidence to around four. You might have to play with this or you might be able to get away with typing in exactly what I have, which is 3.891. Yeah, that was my sweet spot. So random. The factor boxes are offsets for both the X and Y vertices, axes, whatever. So if your box is not centered over your mouth right now and it's it's a little off to the side or a little high or a little low, you just uh, use these two fields to get it centered over your mouth. Using what I have may or may not work. So if you want to try the numbers that I have first, uh, the first factor on my end is 95 and the second is 87. Lastly, set the easing to 6.86%. Again, such a random number. <laughs> I. I don't know why that's what it is. That's what works, all right? Sorry. Your little mouth should now be tracking to your face, and if it isn't, well, start over. Booyah! Seriously though, sometimes this doesn't work and you need to just delete the AR move filter and start over again. I had to do it three times, so. I never said this one was gonna be easy, okay? Okay? Coral! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Click the plus icon to add another filter in the effect filters area. Once again, select NVIDIA AR Move, but change the name to NVIDIA AR Tilt. This way you don't get confused on which is doing which. Action, scene, and source are the same as the first one. So set them to move source, your camera's scene and blurred mouth. 
This time for the property, we are setting it to rotation. Feature is still going to be landmark and landmark property will be rotation as well. You should have two landmark bars this time. These are the two points the source uses as tilt points. So the first is the left side of your mouth, which is going to again be 49, like in the first one. And the second is the right side of your mouth, which is 55. Set the confidence to 55. Yeah, how do you like that? A square number. And that's it for this one. Now for the last time, add another filter and this time locate user defined shader. Tick the boxes for use effect file and load shader text from file. And then click the browse button. This is going to open a big list of shaders and effects that you can use. So earlier when I said that you can do some pretty cool things with your camera using OBS shader filter, this is how you do it. In this list of greatness, you want to find the pixelation.effect file. Lastly, drag the pixelation bar up around 29. You can decide exactly how you want it to look since you can see your source and I can't. It's pretty sweet, right? Yeah, it is. Now hide the blurred mouth source by clicking the eye icon next to it. And before we get into setting the streamer bot end of things up, you need a sensor sound effect. I personally recorded mine and will leave it up in my discord for people, but you can also grab one from the link in the description below. Just make sure to grab the one that is 10 seconds long all the way at the bottom. The only thing you need to do in StreamerBot is import the code from the description below and set up variables. Unless the import doesn't also carry over the trigger and channel point reward, in that case you need to create a channel point reward and add it as a trigger for this. The variables you need to add are listed in the description below. To add them, click the variables tab at the top of StreamerBot, right click in the box and select add. Put the names in the names box and the values in the values box. This video is already so long, I just don't want to spend another 10 minutes walking through typing every single variable in. I'm sorry. Here's a picture of my cat. Once you get all of the variables added in, go to the triggers box and add a test trigger by right clicking, going to core and clicking test. Then right click the test trigger you just added and click test. It should turn the action on and you should see your blurred source turn on, your mic should mute, and you should hear the sensor sound. If none of that happens, I suck at tutorials and you should have never trusted me. If it succeeded, I'm fucking amazing and you're an amazing detective slash genius and all shall bow to you. I hope you enjoyed this video and a great way for you to tell me that you did is by clicking that like button down there. If you would like to learn even more cool things you can do inside of StreamerBot or OBS, please consider clicking the subscribe button because I get a tickle in my OnlyFans area every time you do. If you need any help with this, have any questions or comments, please leave them in the description below. Join the Discord or come see me when I'm live on Twitch for some one-on-one -on -one tech support. I tell people all the time, I will stop whatever I'm doing while I'm live to help someone resolve any issues. And I mean it, I do that stuff all the time. Best way to get support from me is to come in and ask for it while I'm live, honey pee. Thank you all so much for watching this. I really do hope you get a kick out of it, set it up, show it off to your community, let them make you look like a foul mouthed teething and get some good laughs in. Have a fantastic rest of your day or night. And as always, take care and stay safe. Next time we make Thug Life.